What a spring chicken performance by the legendary Vivaldi. Before we end this show, I'd like to give you a review based on the Disney 57th animated classic and sequel, Ralph Breaks the Internet. Ralph Breaks the Internet is the sequel to Wreck-It Ralph, released back in 2012. But this time it's just it's just directed by Rich Moore and his longtime collaborator, Phil Johnston. Um, the cast members include John C. Riley, Sarah Silverman, Gal Gadot, Jack McBrayer, Melissa Villasenor, Jane Lynch, um, John DiMaggio, Alfred Molina, um, Katie Lowe's, and Timothy Simmons, along with Ali Wong and Taraji P. Henson. Taraji P. Henson did a great job at voicing Yes. Shank, she's okay. I can't, I can't be too, you know, offensive, but I'm telling the truth about this. She's an okay character. She's not the best mentor, in my opinion, but she's an okay character. However, Felony, voiced by Ali Wong, she was, um, she was one of the prettiest rebels I've ever seen in a Disney movie. And as for Timothy Simmons, I thought he'd be playing the one in the mask with an American accent, and I thought Pyro, voiced by Hamish Blake, would have the beard and the moustache. But apparently, I got a little confused. But, all I can say, if I gave it five stars, Ralph made his own chance of playing his own villain. And, um, you know, it received the best animated feature nomination back in December. So it, it, it was it was pretty good. I loved it, in my opinion. And, um, yeah... Just to let you know, the additional voices that were uncredited, Debbie Derryberry plays one of the, well, not one of them, let's say most of the candy, and Max Mittelman plays one of the internet people. Um, let's see, the eBay bidders. Not the auctioneers, because the auctioneers are in the cast, but I couldn't remember who played them, but yeah. And the princesses, I enjoyed the fact that the princesses were in Ralph Breaks the Internet. Um, however... It would have been better if Pamela Ribbon um, was just a screenwriter and then um, Catherine Von Till could have voiced along with um, Julie Nathanson rather than Paige O'Hara, in my opinion, not to be offensive. But it was a great movie and I would give it five stars. 16. It's been one of my favourite Canadian shows. It's on YouTube Retro Rerun, apparently. And it stars the voices of Terry McGurrin, Stacey Pass, Megan Follenbach, and Brooke Dulce. My favourite male character has to be Jones Garcia, because he's, he's, he's a rebel who's similar to me. He gets in trouble. He um, He's not always honest. And he always thinks about himself before, you know, others. But that used to be me when I was younger. Nikki and Jen are my favourite female characters. Caitlin, I'm not really that bothered about, but... You know, because she is a bit full of herself and she overdoes everything. And she sometimes gets Jonesy in trouble, so it's partly her fault sometimes, in my opinion. And um, Rhonda Rentacop, he's one of the hilarious elderly adults I've ever watched on in an Elvana show because um, he does a great job, he does a great role as being the villain. And, um, yeah... Nelvana have done a great job, so that's, you know, that's a great thing. And, um, yeah, it's similar to Total Drama, even though I don't watch Total Drama as much as I do 16, but I mostly compare it to Brace Face, because that's another Nelvana show. And St Stacey DePass, by the way, is, bo is the both the voice of Sharon and Nikki, so that's a coincidence, as well as Katie Griffin appearing in a couple of episodes, so that's a coincidence. And um, Christian Potenza and Megan Fallenbach briefly were in the additional voices of Braceface in the third season. So that's all. So that's all there is, really. But apart from that, um, I've been grateful of watching it. They've entertained me so well, and um, you know, I've given it five stars. So I've nominated it best animated TV show of the 2000s, Slash Dexter's Laboratory, and Cramp Twins, and Lizzie McGuire. Um, the type of films I like are 
Let's see now. Bugs Life, Coco, Incredibles 2, Inside Out, Emoji Movie. I know that's underrated, but I love that movie so much. And, um, yeah, um, what I like most of all is I like going to um, the cinema so I can learn how to be an animator. Because my career... So I, I watch Stills Animation on the bonus features of some DVDs, so, you know. And Hanna-Barbera have teached me how to use their sound effects, so at least I'll be able to, you know, know how to make things entertaining in future. But yeah, um, I've been so, um, you know, excited when I come home from college. I enjoy watching them. But yeah, um, what I like to do is... Um, how I like to introduce myself is I'm a little shy, I can be a little annoying, and I can overdo myself sometimes, but yeah, and I may be negative a few times, but at least in the end, I apologise, and I know how to be positive, and I know how to keep my um, distance, and be careful on the internet, so I'm, ve I'm, I'm very proud to have a great life, but yeah, thanks for... Um, Thanks for coming to listen of um thanks for coming to listen to Jazz Hands Radio Show. That's all we have time for. See you soon. Adios.